Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, back for more from the Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team Rogue Trader box set and the Sludge Grubs. These are giant mutated uh, slugs or uh, whatnot, maggots, I suppose is the word I'm looking for. Now, starting off with Pixie Pink, why? because I'm basing the color scheme here off of a abscess I had a while back, which was as painful as it was disgusting, and definitely, definitely appropriate for Nurgle. Abscess is a uh, painful cyst on your gum line, and it's uh, really, really bad. Again, not something one normally talks about, but I found the color scheme inspiring. And again, the Galar pox mutates normal parasites and vermin that are usually annoying but fairly harmless into things that can gut a man. And I am definitely going to need to put a second coat of this on. I don't need to be careful on this one because that head he's chewing on right there I can also do on this round of painting. So I don't nick it, and this one seems to have. I'm unsure if this is, well, you know what, this looks like a whole pile of these grubs, actually, in various stages of their development, swarming all over this unfortunate fellow. And I'll just get the second coat off camera using a larger brush than I normally would just for speed. paint. No, oh, and I dropped a bunch of frames and didn't realize it's, well, insert obscenity here. And you want to keep your brush moist, but not overly wet, just using just enough paint to or just enough water, excuse me. It's this is the first thing I'm doing this morning <laughs> to thin the paint. Just enough water to thin the paint. All right. Go back to the double header here. Grab a smaller brush and take some golden skin zero nine zero nine two. Oh, come on. Once again, the more technology advances, the more it becomes like that uh, Mel Brooks movie Spaceballs. So because so many companies have fallen in love with planned obsolescence and are using the internet and its ability to download patches and updates as an excuse not to release a to um release half finished products, which the video game industry has been suffering immensely because of. Okay, gonna let that dry. Get another coat of pink on these maggots when I uh, off camera and we'll move on as soon as I can. Oh, Remedy. Good grief. Okay, well, after that debacle with the frame rate, let's see if I can salvage this. 09055 Brion Blue. This one's about cash, so I might have to go shopping soon for a replacement. On the other hand, I don't need too much of this. This is a secondary color. 
is not the right brush. That is the right brush. And I just realized I grabbed the wrong color. I need Templar Blue 0905. Or, wait a minute. Nope. Yeah, Templar Blue 09056. Oh boy. I should not paint this early in the morning, maybe. Alright. Unfortunately, I didn't waste too much of the other one, but still frustrating. Some of the pink is still drying on second coat, but I can start. So it doesn't seem to have any of it. This one's got this tongue sticking out. Proboscis. Well, I don't think maggots have proboscis, but. A trophy is not word right, but. It's alright. This one. Uh, no. And then Chaotic Red. Going back to the double header. Skin 09164. Hopefully, I don't have any more glitches. of, uh, quite frankly, drool. Making sure the poison is uh, on the exterior. This one's got quite a bit of toxic and or corrosive slime coming out of its mouth. Maybe I should be saying these two, it's a little tricky to tell. Alright. And uniform gray. Don't need 
too much of this. There's not too much of the rock-like texture underneath these grubs. Just carefully going around the smaller maggots. This one doesn't have any. Well, it looks like it's licking something. Making sure it put a bit of the acidic slime at the tip of the tongue. And just a little bit here, but not much. Alright, once all this dries, I can do the slime and wrap up my escapes. Okay, creamy ivory 09144. Getting the mucus. And I only skimmed the data sheet, but if I remember right, these guys do have a ranged attack. I believe it's all rats. Short range pistol one, I think. If I'm remembering right. And it is described as some kind of acidic mucus. Just going over everything, seeing if there are additional bits of slime I want to get, and I don't think so. This one, though, is drooling. And I'll get this uh, wound here. Some slime here connecting the two uh, heads. Might have to do some wet on wet shading to blend that properly. But these are literally slimy maggot creatures. This one has quite a bit oozing out of its mouth. As it appears to be charging towards, well, something that would depend on what game you're playing, to be fair. And a lot of where this exactly connects to and is coming from and slash flowing over is really up to individual interpretation, so. This is something to bear in mind. Okay. That's base coats. Once that dries up, I can start shading. Well, I'm kind of fixing it, seems. So, fine. Okay. Let's see here. Alright. Shading. Yeah. Chaotic red. So there's a lot of mixing. Starting from the highest point, working to the lowest. Thinning the paint with one part water to one part paint. Making it into a wash. Uh, a little more than 
that for this. Do need some of that pink to show through. You know, I, despite saying I'm shading the low, uh, highest area the lowest, the mucus will be one of the last things I shade. Actually, you know what, I'm thinking I'm going to try some wet on wet shading, so go ahead and just go all out uh, here and try to work as quickly as possible. To uh, see if I can pull off what I need to do here. Yeah, this is definitely about the same color as that nasty, disgusting, painful cyst I had a while back. do this as quick as I can. So I'm gonna show off the, the wet on wet here or what that can do for you if you can pull it off right. I don't know if I'm gonna pull it off right but I'm gonna try. Shadow zero nine one six three. And again, normally I would wait for these to dry. I wanted it to dry one or two at a time before moving on, but again, I want to go wet on wet, forgetting the mucus. So we're gonna do it this way. Now the severed head. Now, Nate, now, I'll think on that severed head for a bit while I get the uh, rest of this done. Oh boy, I gotta be careful right grip, and some of this is already starting to dry, so I'm going to have to move with alacrity here. Oh no. Okay. And then Brion Blue zero nine uh, zero five five. This is uh oh something's going all right. I'm just gonna have to roll with it as quickly as possible because I get one shot at this. And if I'm going to do wet on wet, I'm already rapidly running out of time. This is starting to dry much quicker than I expected, so... Okay. Golden Shadow 09, uh, 091. And red brick zero nine zero zero one. Again, normally I take more time with shading, but I really want to try some wet on wet here with the mucus. And now, 
solid bone, 09143. Um, not yet, actually. First, Stormy Gray, 09088. Again, I've got to rush, 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 right this second on this. Because as I said, some of the red is already starting to dry. So to get the effect I need, I've got to just uh, zip, zip, zip. In fact, a good chunk of that one is already... Oh boy. Okay, now yellow bone 09143. Can I do it? Can I pull this off in time? About to find out. Another thing is how to bit more. So on there and then around here. Drip at the tip. Bit there. And this is where it's kind of dried already. since that's where the slobber is coming from. Again, kind of having to rush it here for a particular shading effect I'm trying to do, which, again, normally I would not do it this way, but uh, trying something new, trying for a specific effect. So kind of making an exception here. Just going a bit along the belly here, going for a close sort of drool. As this sludge grub is actively vomiting. Okay. I think I pulled it off, but I'll find out for certain once this dries and I can start highlighting. But I think I got it. Okay. Matt White. It looks like that experiment worked to a certain extent. Could have gone a little better, but this orange was for next time. So this is just a detail going on the one eye here that's still present with this milky white orb. Now on this one. Pick out all the eyes here. I can. I can see. So there we go. Now, I'm going to do some highlighting. So I'm going to start with, I think, Ash and Blue 09057. But this model is not going to have any of that because of all the eyes there, but this one will. Ragged feathered brush, no water, straight paint only. Rubbing it out on a paper towel to look like there's nothing left, and then apparently dusting the area to be affected. Okay, it's the only other one with that color. Next, Dark Elf Highlight 09165.
So I'm just going to say it here and now. I'm really getting sick of the negativity and pessimism, not just on YouTube, but in general. So it's just getting kind of frustrating. <clears throat> Excuse me. Especially, uh, especially when it's everywhere online. It may be the way it is, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe I should have done that flush. <clears throat> Excuse me. Flush first. Get the bullet teeth here. Looks a little bit funny, but I'm gonna just roll with it. Uh, golden highlight 09003, and this unfortunate sap is uh, fresh meat. Because that's what I'm portraying him. So just give this a minute. Give this a minute. So I can cry out loud. Okay. Misty Gray 09090 for whenever my equipment decides to start playing nice with me again. Get out. We're gonna stop and try again in a minute. This is getting stupid. Okay, let's try this again. Zero nine zero nine zero Misty Gray. Once again, and definitely this will not be the last time I say this. The more technology advances, the more and more it's ending up like that Mel Brooks movie Spaceballs. Not a whole lot of this. Oh yeah, this definitely is looking more like a an abscess. So I definitely made the right call using the pink as the base coat. A little bit on the tongue there. Going against any raised edges, refreshing the paint as necessary.
And I'm just lightly dusting. All right. And that white again is a final highlight over the mucus. selective on the mucus. I'm using a fairly small brush. Fairly I've <laughs> don't have many that are smaller than this, actually. I don't want it to go from mucus that looks kind of like milk that's starting to go rancid. Which, well, pus-like, actually. Again, based on the abscess I mentioned earlier, which, again, is... This is a disgust was as painful as it was disgusting. Not the kind of thing one normally talks about in general, but proved a good inspiration for this. I am liking that a lot. So that's it for highlights and details. Last thing I, well, one of the last things I need to do now is first I'll get my brushes in the right slot over here. And I'm going to take matte black. <sighs> it's running a bit thin, but I have a spare because this bottle's been acting like it's been ringing out for a couple of weeks now. Using a flat head brush and same amount of water as a base coat, just enough to thin out the paint. I'm just going to align the base. To tidy it up. Get a nice finish. This is a completely arbitrary color decision and anything will do. Being very careful where the model either touches or comes close to touching the edge. I'm not concerned about the interior because that's going to get covered with talus, which is rock debris. I find it appropriate for Warhammer 40,000 with the level of destruction that can be implemented. I like to look, make it look like my models are walking on the rubble of some once great city. But again, I've I've dealt with perhaps too many nasty people this week, both off both online and in person. So I'm just a little frustrated with all the negativity I've had shoved down my throat. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry completely. And once that's done, I can do one of the last steps. And my camera is acting up again for crying out loud. Okay. Time to base. So I'm taking some white glue. And some water. Eyedropper is real handy for this. Let's see a brush you're going to sacrifice and just mix it all up into a solution. Alright, I've got a mix of talus or rock debris, fine, medium, and coarse. That's my basic material. Looks a little awkward. 
painting carefully around the uh, contact points. This model doesn't have feet, actually. And get the dip. Uh, shake out the excess. So I need to do a little more right there on the front. Better. And then using a separate brush that's dry, I'm just going to push the excess away from where I don't want it. Apply to the rest. And doing the um, uniform gray, stormy gray, misty gray on the stonework. It blends in kind of nicely with this particular color. So, get a little more right here. It's a little awkward to paint with that in the way. Though I suppose I'm not technically painting, but just brushing on a glue solution. Same kind of technique, though. I might do custom uh, base sculpting at some point for Warhammer 40,000, but I haven't yet. It's something I could do in the future. And this is the one that's dry. Last one. step I'm going to have to do on this but this has to well to be fair one more on camera I have to do I can't exactly oh boy, get a spray can out in the studio so I need to let that set for a bit I'll explain why I want to come back oh boy Camera from again. Okay, final step. A we'll spray or brush on adhesive. I use uh, Scenic Cement by Woodland Scenics, but I'm sure there's other products that work just as well. Glass eyedropper, this stuff will bond to plastic really quickly. So, always clean it better with glass. I carefully drip that onto the basic material and let it soak in. Oh crap. And this will seal it. And give it a rock hard finish, keeping it on the model and not in the box or bag you store it in. If you don't get this uh, time to set first before doing this, then this will push the uh, material around. And make divots in it. A few drops is plenty. Okay, what should do? Cleaning out. The sludge grubs from the dog pots infected 
faction of uh, Warhammer 40,000 kill team. Got one more video for this group, and then on to the Elysidian Elis Star Striders. Until next time, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.